Hi guys, and welcome back to another live stream. I'm really excited because this is a very, a very special live stream um, because I have a very special guest, um, Nika from the Ukraine. And I'm so happy that you're here and that uh, you're gonna do this last live stream with me today. Thank you very much, Jenny. It's very nice to be here. Thank you for invitation. It was really um, unexpected for me, <laughs> but I am really happy to be here. You have a wonderful YouTube channel. Thank you. You do too. And I've actually been following you for a few years and I always like listen to a little bit here and a little bit there. And I mean, I don't, I don't really think I, that I speak any Russian, but I understand mm -hmm. a little bit of it because I also have um, dance trainers who are, well, she's Ukrainian and he's Russian. And so they speak Russian in their classes. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, um, yeah, that's kind of my contact with the Russian language. And then mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I saw you and your updates and everything and um, in the last few weeks. And then I saw that you started teaching Ukrainian now and you have a new language school, yeah, which is called Verba, true. right? Yeah, Verba. And, and then I was like, okay, I don't know any Ukrainian, so I think I want to I wanna learn some of it. <laughs> oh, that's very yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, so, I think um, yeah. now um, a lot of people starting learning some Ukrainian, uh, many of them uh, starting... Uh, communicating with our refugees and that is why even knowing a couple words is already cool I think yeah great so did you um can you talk tell me a little or can you tell the viewers a little bit about your language school and what you do yeah of course uh so we have just had rebranding uh before we used to teach only russian language uh and we had the name ruland club but now we have also added ukrainian language uh, and our new name is Verba. There are a few reasons for it. Uh, I already told a little bit that Verba is a uh, willow, a tree, uh, which is one of the symbols of Ukraine. And also, I liked that Verba in Latin it's like words. So I decided to combine those two meanings in this name and um, create language school that calls Verba. Okay. And um, we are teaching uh, two languages in our school. Uh, it can be online lessons, online courses. And at the same time, on my YouTube channel, I decided to focus only on teaching Ukrainian now. I have a lot of videos for Russian learners. They still stay there so they can continue learning Russian. But uh, now I want to teach actually the language of my country because we switched uh, in real life uh, in our communication with my family, my friends. We speak only Ukrainian since the first day of the war. And I decided that this is what I want to do more. Okay, that's a great project. So is Ukrainian your native language and then Russian is some is the language you learned? Like uh, not exactly. Uh, because I'm from Donbass, from Lugansk, uh, our uh, like first language was Russian because most people there speak Russian. But we learned Ukrainian from the very first two days as well because we were surrounded by it on TV, I don't know, on radio, everywhere. And we had it in kindergarten, in school. So everywhere you could still hear and speak Ukrainian. So basically we're like almost billions. Billing oh yeah. Okay. Lists. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and is there a huge difference between Ukrainian and Russian? Uh, I wouldn't say that it's huge, but it's uh, you can feel it. <laughs> okay. uh, first of all, some parts of vocabulary is different. Uh, something about grammar and uh, pronunciation, the phonetics is quite uh, different. That oh, is why for know. Russian speakers, it's sometimes uh, difficult to say something in Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. It's so like, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Ukrainians, they understand and speak Russian, but Russians don't necessarily understand and speak Ukrainian? Yeah, it's yeah. a very common situation. Uh, why it happened? Because in Ukraine, there's been a very strong Russification for years hundreds of years actually because it was in Soviet Union and before the Soviet Union when there were like Tsars and the Empire, Russian Empire, uh, all the time uh, like our countrymen were kind of forced speaking Russian and Ukrainian often was uh, officially forbidden and that is why we all know Russian at least, we understand it really well and uh, of course Russian Russia do not have so many Ukrainian language everywhere, so they do not yeah. understand it so well. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. 
Yeah, and you're going to be trying to teach me some Ukrainian today, and that's that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope we will try. Right. <laughs> If you are ready. Yeah, I am. <laughs> How many languages do you speak, or which languages do you speak? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, Russian, Ukrainian, and English. <laughs> I really want to learn Spanish. Uh, mm -hmm. I started one time, uh, but then uh, some I had some project, and they just stopped it, and now I just remember a couple of words <laughs> only. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sure you have a lot of work with your language school, right? It's probably a full-time job. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's sometimes uh, more than full-time. <laughs> <laughs> From 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. sometimes. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's hard to take a day off because, I don't know, my I see my inbox, my emails, and I'm like, oh, gosh. Uh, and it's hard mm -hmm. for me to just, like, turn off my computer and say, okay, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, that people are waiting for some yeah. answers. Exactly. And if you don't do it, nobody does it. So it's always like kind mm -hmm. of like inner conflict for me. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. Uh -huh. If you want to find the link to um, the language school Verba, you can find it in the description below. Um, and also your YouTube channel and your mm -hmm. Instagram channel. Yeah. yeah, I will be glad if somebody decides to join to learn some Ukrainian. <laughs> yeah. All right. Someone is saying, um, I wonder if Ukrainian is easier or harder than Spanish. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that it could be maybe a little bit harder because of uh, case system. I don't think that Spanish has case system. They have conjugations of the verbs yeah. like yeah. Ukrainian as well. But also we have uh, seven cases in Ukrainian, <laughs> even more than in <laughs> Russian. My yeah, God. Russian oh, has six. Russian? Yeah, Russian has six, oh. and Ukrainian has additional vocative case, which we use when we address uh, somebody's name. For example, my name Nika, but in this case, uh, it will sound like Niko with ending O. Oh, okay. Wow, that's that's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but in, in German um, we have four, and it's already hard teaching you know students four cases. They're already overwhelmed, mm -hmm. so when they have to learn seven, I'm sure they. Yeah, At plus each case has the feminine form, masculine form, plural form. So it's like, if to count, it's even more <laughs> cases. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. But if you're like a native Ukrainian, do you, can you like master all of that? Are you... Yeah, of course, you don't think about it. You, from childhood, you know how to change the words. So, no, of course, uh, kids can do some mistakes sometimes, but in general, it's just natural. It happens like in any other language. Yeah, okay. That's exciting. Okay. So do you want to maybe get started? Yeah. If you're ready, okay. of course. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'll try my best. Uh, so you told me that you a little bit learned uh, the alphabet of the Russian language before, yes? Yeah. But it's it was a long time ago, so I don't long know. A long time ago. So we will now repeat it and uh, learn some Ukrainian letters <laughs> that we okay. have. I have prepared here some materials. So if you are ready, if our subscribers are ready, <laughs> well, let's try. So okay. um, on this first slide, let's call it slide, um, I have the letters that are like our true friends. They repeat uh, by sounds, the sounds that exist in uh, Latin language, that no, Latin uh, script. Uh, can you read this word for me? Um, cometa? Cometa. Так, that's right. And uh, uh, here we have letter E. E. This is Ukrainian E. Uh, I make it as, uh, you know, a way to remember which letters are our true friends. The phrase cometa E. So you imagine this cometa that flies to the earth and it's called E. So this or, uh, this uh, letters are our friends. Uh, okay. Then we have uh, the letters that are our false friends. Okay. They look like uh, in Latin, in English, in German, but they have different sounds. As you can see, this is yes. R, S, N, and U. Okay. This one is U. Uh. So let's, okay. yeah, let's maybe try to read the words that we have here. Okay, so um, rock. Mm -hmm. uh, metro. Tag. Uh, stress. Class, super. Uh, ma maska? Maska. Mm -hmm. maska, the one that we wear in the coronavirus times. Ah, really? Okay, okay. Yeah. Stress is, is stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like okay. I have stress, you know, I'm yeah. excited. Okay. Um, 
Nomer. Nomer. Mm -hmm. This is number. Nomer. Ah, yeah, okay. Nota. Nota. Mm -hmm. This is like the music note. Basically, all these words, they are borrowed uh, to Ukrainian, so they are foreign, uh, and uh, you could, like can recognize them easily. Okay. Um, wow, that's hard. Um, the E. Use. Uh, the first one is R. Oh, yeah, R, sorry. Um, uh -huh. Ris. Ris. Mm -hmm. This is okay. rice. Ris. Ah, yeah, okay. Ris. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the second one is... Rim. Rim. Mm -hmm. This Rim. is capital of Italy. Rim. Ah, That's really? Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the last one. Um, soon. Mm -hmm. uh, letter U. Uh. Ah, sin. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a son. My son. They're like a child. Ah, okay. Sin. Interesting. Mm -hmm. wow. okay. Yeah. And first two, you also recognize rock, like rock music and metro. Yeah. Okay. Class. Well done, Maldet. <laughs> так, let's go. You could just said uh, he just subscribed to Verba School's channel. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, let's continue. Here we have three more uh, letters uh, uh -huh. that also look the same but have different sounds. This one okay. has sound of v. V. So v. vino. Mm -hmm. Vitamin. Так, вино и витамин. How do you think? What do you mean? So, вино is wine? Yes. Okay. And then vitamin is vitamins. Yeah. No, this is easy. <laughs> Too easy, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next um, one, uh, this one has sound U. U okay. in Ukrainian. Uh, tourist. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really have to focus a lot. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, cactus. Cactus. Mm-hmm. Абсолютно верно. Cool. Молодец. <laughs> так, and this one mm, in Ukrainian has sound H. And it's a little bit different from English sound that letter H, for example, has. Uh, because in English it's almost silent. You almost swallow it when you say the words. Uh, in Ukrainian you need to say it harder, right? like ha, ho, hu. Yeah, so it's more like you push more uh, air through your voice connections to say this uh, sound H. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So, character? Mm -hmm. The character. Like, ah, character. Like, okay. ha, 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 you know, when we're laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Character. Character, okay. The, mm -hmm. the stress above the A, is that... Did you do it's that? It's stress. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, put them on purpose so you could see uh, which syllable is stressed, uh, which one we need to say longer. Yes. I got it. Okay. And then the la last one, ha hacker? Hacker. Mm -hmm. You know, the person IT who is sitting and oh, hacking yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hacker. Wow. Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. helpful when the sound is like in the red. But when it's mm -hmm. not there anymore, then I need to know it. Yeah, yeah. Mind. You you know where to focus then. <laughs> yes. Okay, just a second, because I have here a little bit wrong order. Uh, okay, so these letters, they're called like strangers mm -hmm. uh, because they do not exist uh, in Latin script. They only exist in uh, Cyrillic. So mm -hmm. this letter has sound B. 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 Mm -hmm. B. Okay. So let's try to read. Okay, like this. <laughs> Bar. Mm -hmm. Bar. Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, box. Box. Yeah, you know, box. like box. Sport. Oh, yeah. Oh, this mm -hmm. one. Not the box, mm -hmm. but the. Uh, yeah. yeah, the box uh, is a uh, yashchik abo korobka in Ukrainian. That's so okay. actually a sport. Okay, box. good. Here we have two letters looking similar to each other. They have a uh, quite similar sound. The first one is he, he. he. Second one is ge. Ge. Mm -hmm. Usually this letter, uh, the first ge, he, <laughs> it uh, calls the uh, biggest problems because it's fricative. It doesn't exist in many other languages. Uh, even in Russian it doesn't exist. And usually it's difficult for people to say this sound because very often people say like more close to he, 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 he instead of uh -huh. I have a video on my channel, just uh, one of the last ones, where I explain the differences between, the, between these uh, letters, uh, what should be the position of your tongue uh, to say the sound correctly. 
Okay. But anyway, let's uh, try to read the words there. Um, Hitara. Mm -hmm. Hitara. Hitara. Um, hi, um, himor. Who? Uh, ah. uh, letter humor. Who does? Humor. Mm -hmm. da. How do you think? What is humor? Humor. Humor. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so the words are really easy today. Yeah. 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 Okay. For letter G, actually, this letter. Uh, for a long time, it was uh, forbidden because in Soviet time they decided to forbid this letter because it doesn't really? look like a Russian one. Yeah, so they decided to make uh, our alphabets as much similar as possible. And it returned to the Ukrainian alphabet only in 1989 uh, really? after the Soviet uh, Union when it was almost over. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, that is why we have not many words with this letter. We use it, first of all, for transliteration of English words that have uh, letter G, like hete, gete here, no? gete, uh, German author here. Yeah. Um, and um, the word... Oh, that's good, really. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we say gete. Uh, and ganok, uh, it's one of the list of Ukrainian words uh, that have this letter. Uh, it means porch. Porch. What? Porch. No, you know, porch. You know, like um, outside of your yeah. house, you have a, a porch. Okay. Yeah, like Ganok. a terrace. Da -da -da. Ganok. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so this is about these letters. The next uh, one has sound d. D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, radio. Radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And vi first one video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, video. Video. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so video. Is... Yeah. Video. Video. Yes. Video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is what we're doing now. That video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <a> video. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Done. Tag. Almost there. There are some more. Some more letters. <laughs> so this one is uh, letter Z. Yeah? I cannot see this letter English one now. But yeah, Z? in Ukrainian, looks like number three. Ah, so let's okay. read the words. Uh, visa? Mm -hmm. um, business? Mm -hmm. Business. Yeah. Visa <laughs> is business. <laughs> it's funny. Like when you look at it, it doesn't look like anything and then you kind of try to say the letters and then you're like oh okay and you hear this word uh, and you're yeah, it. No? yeah that's, it's like this is the funny. coolest part that's true yeah the next um, letter it's uh, it has sound l and you can see that you can write it in two ways uh, depends on um, the font that you use it can look like this one or just be like this like, ah without this uh, hyphen on it and it's pronounced yeah. like what L, l sound l, l. l. Okay. Mm -hmm. limon limon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it lemon yeah it is okay um cl mm -hmm. clown clown uh-huh yes but o is not reduced in ukrainian o is never reduced so when you see letter o you just read it like o clown Clone, okay. Clone. Mm -hmm. This is so this clown. Is a clown. Yeah, with the nose. it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clone. yeah, yeah. This is he. <laughs> it's a clone. Okay. The next letter looks a little bit uh, similar to this one, but it has sound p. p. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, park. Mm -hmm. Так. Port. Port, mm -hmm. you know, like seaport. seaport. Oh, that's kind of port. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, pilot. Pilot. The pilot. one who is flying that yeah. <laughs> on the uh, aircraft. Okay, the okay. next one. This is letter F uh, and sound F. And uh, the interesting part is that um, all the words with this letter in Ukrainian language, they are borrowed because we didn't have it. And really? even wow. um, according to the new rules, um, they say that in many words that have the letter F, that uh, have uh, Greek, um, like uh, went from Greek language, we need now to use letter T as it was used before. 
So now mm-hmm. we have those changes a little bit. Uh, but off- yeah, office? Yeah. Yeah. Office? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I have to remember what that word is. Te- te- uh, te- ah, telephone. 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 Mm-hmm. telephone. Yeah, telephone. Okay. Yeah. Da, da, da. It's just a uh, difference between Ukrainian and Russian. That uh, these letters uh, in in Russian it's ye, yeah, soft one. In Ukrainian it's eh, eh. Ah, in, okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Da, oh, da, da, in so. Russian, like when we read uh, the first word, but yeah. here, kometa, da, we say kometa, me, not me, me. but me. Mm-hmm. me. So okay, kometa. Mm-hmm. Kometa. So it's a little da, easier. Da. In Russian, in that way, uh, it is, and basically, uh, there is like kind of a myth that uh, Ukrainian language is softer than uh, Russian, that is why it's more melodic. Uh, the truth is that we don't even have so many possible uh, soft variants of consonants in Ukrainian as they exist in Russian, so basically, we more often use sounds a, e, a, o then ye, ya, ye, you know, those with yot, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, that is why maybe <laughs> it sounds okay. melodical, I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Basically, so this is our yot, da? this is letter yot, mm-hmm. which has sound ye, ye. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, let's read the words. Oh, wow. Um... But imagine that instead of this letter, yoga. you have the English one. Yeah, yoga. Yoga, Molodet, okay. cool. <laughs> wait, wait, did yoga? you say yoga da. or yoga? It, it's yoga, right? Yoga. No, no, no. I was wrong. You were right. <laughs> Molodet. You said oh, right. Well. Yoga. That's a, a letter G. Uh, this one. It's hey, Ukrainian. Hey. Yoga. 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 Okay. And it's yoga. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, wow. Um, uh, you know this word. Uh, yeah, a little bit shorter. Yeah. So it will be sight. 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 Mm-hmm. sight. Like website. Mm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, okay. it is. It is. Okay. Sight. For example, I am doing my site. Yeah, I do a lot of site. <laughs> yeah, wow. site in Ukrainian. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, these four letters, uh, they are vowels. And they're like created with the help of this uh, sound y. You can see that in transcriptions we have yot everywhere before them. Da? So they're mm-hmm. actually those uh, vowels that make previous consonant uh, soft. Uh-huh. Ye, you, ya, and ye. This letter doesn't exist in Russian. Da? It's ye. Really? Okay. So let's, yeah. da, let's yeah. try to okay. read the words. Um... What is that B B again? Uh, this one, uh, yeah. Second letter. Yeah. Ah, the second one, uh, b, uh, v, b. v. Sorry, <laughs> sound v. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Evro Evroma. Evropa. Oh, oh. Evropa. Of, of course, this is a P. Okay, Evropa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Evropa. So this is Europe. Evropa. Mm-hmm. Evropa. Okay. Ye. Oh, wow. Yeretuk. Mm-hmm. Yeretik. Tik. This is ah, yeretik. Yeretik. Um, I don't remember exactly how it sounds in English, but it's, you know, a religious word. The person who betrays his religion. Ah, heretic, I think. Heretic, heretic. yeah. Yeretik okay. in Ukrainian. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Um, the next one is you. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is hard. Siur. Siur. Sure. Oh wow. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Uh, this one. I, I cannot see from the camera. <laughs> uh, this one is e, da, like riz in the end. Yes, riz. Surpris. Surpris. Ah, uh, sur-pris. I always mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like surprise. Surpris. Yes. Surpris. I always recommend my students if they meet a uh, loan word. Try imaginary to divide it into syllables, and then it always works. You, you can read any one word yes. dividing it into syllables. Okay. So, sur- surprise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Tak, and the okay, next one. Um, bure, bu- bureau? Bureau. Mm-hmm. Bureau. bureau. Like bureau. Is it bureau or bureau? Bureau. Uh, actually, in Ukrainian, for example, um, sound B is never soft, but we see it with U. If to think it logically, it shouldn't be. So there should be an apostrophe by logic. But historically, it happened that we already use it this way. Maybe, again, it was influence of the Russian language because in the Russian, uh, B can be soft, bureau. In uh, Ukrainian, it's like half soft. We have for like semi-soft uh, uh, consonants sometimes. Mm-hmm. This is why we still write it without apostrophe and we say it like, Bureau. Bureau. Mm-hmm. Bureau. Mm-hmm. Bureau. All right. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay. This one is ya. Yeah. Okay. So, Campania. Campania. Mm-hmm. Good. But uh, in Ukrainian, we never make all like a. Uh, so, it will be Compania. Ah, Compania. Mm-hmm. Compania. Mm-hmm. Tak. Mm-hmm. And this Ita- one? Oh, Italia. Da, Italia. Yeah, Italia. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Good, great. Um, and this one, okay. letter Y. Not uh, many words have it, but still. Ukraina. Like Ukraina, tag. A country. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then. Oof, um, the capital of Ukraine. Ki- uh, Ki- mm-hmm. Ki- Ki- Kiev. Ki- Da. So we read it like Kyiv. Kyiv. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kyiv. This is Kyiv. the city. Kyiv. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Ukraine and Kyiv. Ukraine yeah. and Kyiv. Okay. Almost there. <laughs> Almost done. <there. laughs> <laughs> well, but you're doing great. You see? I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the last page, honestly, the last one from the alphabet. Okay. So here we have uh, the sounds that, uh, that are so-called uh, affricates that uh, like um, combine a few sounds in them. Mm-hmm. Them. So the first one is z, z, z. Let's read the words. Jur- journal. Mm-hmm. Journal. Tak. Journal. Jura, jura, juraf. Ah, uh-huh, good. Just uh, not u but u sound. Giraf. Giraffe. Mm-hmm. Ah, giraffe. Okay, giraffe. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, him. Kind of like a puzzle, figuring out a puzzle. It's it's kind of it's interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a, a good exercise for your brain to train yeah. a little bit. Center. Center. Very good. Mm-hmm. Tsunami. Yes, it is <laughs> great. Yeah, so this is. Wow. Tsu, tsu. Yeah. And uh, this letter actually. Have you heard the word Palyanitsa and the um, situation about it in Ukraine? I think I the heard war? you uh, talk about it. Some yeah, in my video. Like mm-hmm. Some uh, bread that you have... cannot find in Russia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the bread that in Ukraine is called Palyanitsa. It's like personal name of this uh, bread. And we also have the word Polunitsa, which means uh, strawberry. And when uh, Russian attackers uh, came to our Kyiv region, uh, people were asking all suspicious people uh, to say this word, Palyanitsa, and to explain mm-hmm. what it means. First mm-hmm. of all, half of them said that this is uh, strawberry, which is wrong. Plus, they cannot uh, pronounce uh, soft uh, sound Ts, because in Russian it's always hard. Even mm-hmm. before letters E, I, E, 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 it sounds like Ts. Mm-hmm. In Ukrainian it's Ts, Palyanitsa. If it's soft. Okay. No, they just, just couldn't say this okay. sound. <laughs> okay, the next one. Ch- 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 champion. Mm-hmm. Champion. Tak. Champion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a country of Europe. Czechia? Mm-hmm. Czechia. 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 Mm-hmm. Czechia. Mm-hmm. Super. Czechia. Tak. Um, okay. Shock. Sh- mm-hmm. Shock. Shock. Mm-hmm. Machina. Mm-hmm. This is a car, right? It is. Great. 
And this one uh, also it's a little bit different from the Russian in Russian it's sh, uh, soft in uh, Ukrainian it's hard. Sh -ch. Sh -ch. Sh -ch. Mm -hmm. Sh -ch. Yeah. Okay, so Borch. 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 Perfect. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost wow. Ukrainian. <laughs> Borch. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> our main words <laughs> right, of Ukrainian language, borscht. It's, it's that soup that you guys eat, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. the red soup with cabbage and beetroot. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the most popular here. Okay, and the last uh, letter, it doesn't have a sound. It's called soft sign, uh, but it makes previous, uh, previous consonants soft. Okay. This is the only role that it has. Mm. Feed, feed him? Uh, this is L, L, L. Oh, yeah. Fil... Da, film. 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 Ah, film. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, it's film. Uh, the only difference uh, between uh, English and Ukrainian is that L will be soft in Ukrainian. Film. 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 Uh, but mm -hmm. what, if, what if it was hard? How would it sound? If it then it hard? would be film. 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 And we say fil. Fil. Film. Mm -hmm. Good. Lips ah. wider, da? Fil. Okay, film. got it. Mm -hmm. Так, and this one. How to put it like this? Oh, um... You also know this word really well. Uh, second letter is L. L. Al... 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 Mm -hmm. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. Yeah, alcohol. alcohol. Great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, the hardest, I think, for people who learned Russian before and start learning Ukrainian is that uh, we don't need a reduction of sound or. So everywhere you see or, you just need to say or. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. This is. Very some common. people are okay. saying something here. I think this is mm -hmm. Здравствуйте, right? Or Здравствуйте, да. This is hello in uh, Russian. Здравствуйте. Okay. And then the yeah. next word? Uh, journal. This is the word that you read. Journal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, A journal or magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Super. Great, guys. I hope you're doing it with us <laughs> together. <laughs> so here we have um, a couple of greetings in Ukrainian. Uh -huh. uh, first one, uh, they are formal ways. Uh, the lower one is informal. So let's read okay. that. Wow. Um, the so first the, the letter one is... Uh... Them, them, the. De. Okay. Doru. Dob. Dobry. 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 Dobry den. Mm -hmm. Good. Why are there two of those U's? Um, uh, look, this one is U, da? U? U, a vowel. And this one is consonant Y. Yeah. Y, yeah. okay. Dobry. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Dobry. Dobry den. Mm -hmm. Harder de. because uh, this is E, uh, da? Den. De. Den. den. Mm -hmm. Dobry, Dobry den. den. Da. This phrase we use like a lot every day. <laughs> uh -huh. day. Good afternoon, da. Good afternoon or good yeah. day. Do I say that to yeah. friends and, and family? And also you can, you can. So basically, uh, the first variant is uh, common for formal informal for both of them. Uh, mm -hmm. The second one you cannot use in some formal communication. It will be strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So here are also um, two options: dobry ranok, good morning. And dobry vecher, good evening. Yeah, vecher, ranok and vecher. Ranok is good morning. Mm -hmm. Tak, ranok. Dobry ranok good morning. and dobry, dobry vecher. vecher. Mm -hmm. vecher. Uh, also, you can hear uh, these forms, uh, especially if you heard the song, uh, Dobrogo vechera mu z Ukraine, uh, quite famous one, and uh, they use um, genitive case. It's also possible to use this phrase in genitive case when you wish a person to have a good day mm -hmm. or good morning or good evening. Mm -hmm. okay. And the informal one. Okay. 
Prove it. Mm -hmm. uh, just this one, not U, but I. Uh, I. Привет. 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 Mm -hmm. Привет. Да. Привет. Привет. Привет всем. Привет. Да, я, I usually use in my videos. Привет. Привет. Hello to okay. everyone. Yeah. I like that. Okay, here is um, a model of dialogue that we can use when we meet a person from Ukraine, uh, the simplest way to get acquainted. So yeah. I would say, Привет, я Ника. Я Ника. А ты? А ты? А ты, да, and you. So how would you answer me? Я Дженни. Так, я Дженни. That's right. Okay. I also put in brackets uh, form V. Do you know the difference between T and V? Uh, T is informal and mm -hmm. V is formal. And V okay. is formal, yeah. So basically yeah. when we meet people outside, more often we of course would say A V. Yeah. A -V. A -V. Okay, got it. If we don't know them. I think that sound okay. is hard. The uh, sound is really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, also hard to say it. There is an exercise how to train it. Do you want me to show it? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you <laughs> it's a little bit funny. You need a pen uh -huh. to put it in your mouth like this. Okay. And you need to try uh, to try to say sound e, the soft one, that like e, uh, but without touching the pen with your uh, tongue. Ah, okay. Mm. I don't have a pen right now. Mm -hmm. can, no, you can, can try later. Up. Okay, I'll try later. Can I use my finger? <laughs> Basically, yes, why not? Okay. Mm. Yeah, you can. Uh, so, uh, sound E without touching this pen uh, with your tongue. Then you will okay. feel how to create this E sound. And okay. then you can practice it in syllables, for example, and in some yeah. words, and then it will work. Okay, great. Um, how to ask, how are you in Ukrainian? Ya ka that like yak yak spravi spravi perfect yak spravi literally yak means spravi. how are your things yak spravi yak mm -hmm. spravi yak and spravi. Uh, four possible answers let me show you i'm a perfect uh, artist uh, okay. yeah <laughs> so yeah so the first one is like great good dobry Dobre. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay. Dobre. Так, the next one is, it's more like, you know, uh, English variant to say, okay, I'm okay. Um, normalni? Normalno? Mm -hmm. Normalno. Tak, normalno. normalno. Basically yeah, sounds normal. like normal, but yeah. uh, in Ukrainian as well as in Russian, it has a little bit different meaning. It's more like, okay. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah. Normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Dog, the next one. Um, ne. Mm-hmm. De, de, de. First one is de. Yeah. Di, dije. Duje. Mm -hmm. Duje. Duje. Da. Ne duje. Ne, ne duje. duje. It's like literal means not really, like not really well. You know, when you're so so. Ne mm -hmm. duje. Mm -hmm. And the last one is bad. Pagano? Mm -hmm. Pohano, da. Here is Poha. important to, to say this. Uh -huh. You're ha. actually doing this great, <laughs> great work. Pohano. Pohano, okay. Perfect. It's bad, it's bad right? It's bad. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's bad. It. I'm bad. Yeah. I hope you will never need this phrase. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, so um, if you... Are ready to move on a little bit? Yes, ready? I'm ready. Perfect. Let's go on. One, uh, one more structure. Very simple. Uh, nothing special. Uh, how to say I like in Ukrainian. Okay. Um, basically, we don't uh, have the same structure. Like I like. We can replace it with Ya люблю, but it's not direct meaning. To like is podobatysia. Uh, and we use the structure like... Um, Something is liked by me. We are like use it on contrary, switch it. That mm -hmm. is why the object that you like, it will be in nominative case mm -hmm. always, which is a good thing because we don't change the word. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and the structure is many, many, this is dative mm-hmm. case of ya, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. pronoun ya, yeah. and we have two options. For singular objects, we say podobayetsya, podobayetsya, mm-hmm. perfect. And for plural, uh, the same word, but with letter U. Podobayutsa. Podobayutsa. Perfect. But so, what does that mean again? Sorry, I, uh, I forgot. It, this word means to like. I will okay, get yes. it. Mm-hmm. To like. What? Yeah, so, um, I like, no, it's not literally a grammatical structure, but basically I like, and then the object in nominative case. Mm-hmm. So, for example, can you give me a few words from food and drinks that you like? Um, let's see. Uh, I like uh, hummus. Do you know hummus? <laughs> uh, hummus. Yeah, hummus. of course. Dogs are two seconds. I will write it down. So, hummus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Greek salad. Mm-hmm. Um, Two seconds. I guess just pasta, nor you know, pasta, a pasta mm-hmm. dish. Mm-hmm. Uh, casserole, you know, something you put in the oven with cheese. Mm-hmm. Tak, wait a second, I am writing it. Okay, <laughs> tak, sorry. Salad. <laughs> I'm food, so. <laughs> tak, so hummus, grecki salad. Mm, then you said pasta. Tak, pasta. Mm-hmm. What else? I said casserole, like for example, casserole. Potato, potato casserole. I like that. Yeah, Duma, I think that it will be the same casserole in Ukrainian. Okay. I'm not sure, yeah. but I think so. Okay. <laughs> casserole. Mm-hmm. And maybe some drink. Um, I like, oh, I don't know if you guys drink that. It's kind of like, spa- it's, it's, what it's, with mm-hmm. maracuya juice. Aha, uh-huh, it's like uh, a cocktail, da, like uh, lemonade kind of or like something. A, without alcohol. Um, mm-hmm. You can just no, write I orange juice. Mm-hmm. Or maybe let's write limonade, um, because in Ukraine, uh, this kind of drinks, they are usually called limonade. Really? Lemonades. Okay. Even if it's not from uh, lemons or oh, anything. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. Okay, so limonade. That's also a bit strange, but still. Okay, so here I wrote uh, hummus, mm-hmm. grecki salad, grecki salad, salad. Mm-hmm. pasta, pasta. casserole, and limonade. Limonade. Tak. Okay, cool. And we go back now to our structure. Wow. So if we have uh, the object in singular mm-hmm. then we use the top variant yes, okay. so Podo how would you say bajetsa. for example about hummus Me, so what's the first word many many mm-hmm. it's like i in dative case many many podobayetsa mm-hmm. pasta pasta oh, okay great Oh, hummus. Tak. Mm-hmm. Okay, what about Greek salad? Mini podobayetsa. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to see that a bit. Um, Gre- oh, I, you need, me, you need I need your help there. Hretsky. Da Hretsky. Hretsky salad. Mm-hmm. Great. Tak. Oh, I can okay. see there are some comments, interesting comments in our comment section. Mini podobaitsa, mir gefällt. Is it in German? Yes, mir gefällt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I guess when you talk about food, it would be more like ich mag. That's a different. Mm-hmm. That's how you say ich mag. I could teach you German someday. <laughs> it would be and nice. In another live stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, on contrary, maybe on my channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would be nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so many podobaitsa. Let's maybe um, take something that is plural. What mm-hmm. you like that is plural. For example, what it can be? Chipsy. Mm-hmm. 
chips. You know this uh, fried uh, potato. Yeah, yeah. Chips. Oi, sorry. Chips. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we have plural, then we use uh, this variant for plural. Mm -hmm. So let's say it. Mini podoba yotsa. Mm -hmm. uh, chips. Chipsy. Так, мені подобаються chips. Да. So basically, you can put uh, any object uh, there. It will be still a nominative case, even if you like a person. Да, мені подобається Mark, наприклад, for example. Then uh, you just put the name there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But... Someone's asking a question. Um, mm -hmm. Does Ukrainian ever even have the G sound, if I may ask? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you could see that we had uh, two letters. Let me go back um, to the slide that I showed you about these letters. Where they are? Come on. Ah, lost somewhere. No, not here or here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, you can take a look. We have two sounds. Uh huh. And G. G. Uh huh. G. So this uh, G, it's more rare. It's much more mm -hmm. rare in Ukrainian than H uh, sound. Yes. This one we use for transliterations of the English words with G. For yes. example, like Gete. And uh, we have a small list of Ukrainian native words that mm -hmm. have uh, this sound. Like the okay. word Ganok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to learn one, one more structure? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Just a second then. Mm, так, let me think we're better to begin. Um, I know that in Russian you say, like my name is, I would say, Minya Zavut Jenny. Is there something in mm -hmm. like that in Ukrainian? Yes, we would say, Mene Zvati. I will write in chat. Mene uh, Zvati plus your name. Is it more common to say ya Jenny or just or that other way? Um, you can use both. Uh, the difference is just uh, how fast you want to say it. If you uh -huh. want uh, very quickly to introduce yourself, you will just say ya Jenny, ya Nika. And uh, if you have more time or more official meeting, then you can say Menezvati Jenny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Menezvati. Yeah. Or you can see uh, Senka Razin gave um, a list of the words. Yeah? Gava, Gates, Gudzik. These are native Ukrainian words that use the sound G. I got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. So one more structure, the last one for today, uh, mm -hmm. is um, how we express possession in Ukrainian. So mm -hmm. the structure I have. And here is uh, an interesting thing that uh, some languages are like... Um, Haber languages and some Essa languages, yes. But mm -hmm. Russian is Essa language. We say, uh, there is at me, да? something there is at me, literally. Like, у меня есть uh, машина, да? I mm -hmm. have a car. In English, uh, it's Haber language, да? so we say, um, I have a car. So the verb have literally expresses possession or that you mm -hmm. own it. Mm -hmm. uh, Ukrainian has both. <laughs> So we basically have two structures which are almost equal uh, that we may use to express possession. The mm -hmm. first one, literally, I have. Uh, oh, sorry, this one. Ya uh, mayu. So to have yeah, is mati, the mm -hmm. verb mati. And these are uh, conjugations of this verb in present tense. Mm -hmm. Let's read them. Okay, so... Um, it means, sorry, what does Mati uh, mean? I have, have, I have. let me write okay, it yeah. down. Yeah. So, to have. To have. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, ya mayu. Mm -hmm. Ti mayif. Mayish. Mm -hmm. Mayish. Mayish. Okay. Mayish. Mm -hmm. um, rin. Vin. Uh, this is uh, v, v, v. Vin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vin maye. Mm -hmm. This is uh, he. Da vin, it's he. He has. Mm -hmm. The same form will be for she. She has. Vona maye. The same conjugation. Mm -hmm. vin, vin, vin maye. Mm -hmm. okay. Talk. And then mi. Mi mm -hmm. mayemo. Perfect. Mi mayemo. 
Mm -hmm. And that means she? Uh, we, uh, we means we, we. Okay. And what about she? Uh, she, I missed one, uh, just didn't want to write longer, but ah. it's the same conjugation as he, because uh, the third person yes. singular has the same form. Got it. Okay. So, me, mayemo, and mm -hmm. then we, is that the we sound? Oh, we, a little bit harder, that we. We, mayete. You have that, you plural or you formal. Mm -hmm. And then, voni. Mm -hmm. Voni, that I forgot to put the stress. Mm -hmm. mm. Mayot. Mayut. Mm -hmm. Mayut. Okay. Voni mayut. Tak. So basically, this way, at first you see that uh, how we conjugate the verbs in Ukrainian, mm -hmm. that, that we change the endings for mm -hmm. different personal pronouns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the he, she is always the same in present mm -hmm. tense. Okay. Um, so this is how we conjugate. So we are interested now in this one, Yamayu, because we mm -hmm. speak about ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and the hardest part about this uh, structure here is that you need to use accusative case. Yes, mm -hmm. we use accusative. It's not so difficult if you speak about inanimate objects, mm -hmm. because for inanimate, you basically uh, change only feminine. You can see that for feminine, we add ending U or ending U. Mm -hmm. Masculine and neuter, they just stay the same as a nominative case. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if uh, you want to say that I have a computer, computer will be computer in Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. How would you say this structure then? Ya mayu. Um, computer, is it masculine? Mm -hmm. Ya mayu computer? Tak. Ya okay. mayu computer, or mm -hmm. ya mayu telefon, ya mayu budinok, a house. Yeah? Yeah. Basically, here I am showing okay. it, uh, here, mm -hmm. two inanimate words. Ya mayu budinok, budinok is house. Mm -hmm. And the next one is feminine word, kvartira, kvartira. which I change to kvartiru. So I use this rule when I change... Yeah. And what is kvart is that like a apartment? Uh, kvartira, it's like apartment. Ah yes, kvartiru. Mm -hmm. Da. So ya mayu kvartiru, I have yeah. an apartment. Ya mayu budinok, I have a house. Yeah. If I say ya mayu kvartiru, does that mean I own an apartment or I just rent one? Uh basically it depends on the context. So okay. if somebody of my friends would ask me, uh, Nika, vy máte kvartiru? I would say, tak, my máme kvartiru v Kremnici. So we have an apartment here. We don't own it, but we can still say yes. we have it because we temporarily have it. Got it. Okay. So mm -hmm. according yeah. to the context. Okay. Uh, for animate, when we have, for example, a sister, a boyfriend, some, I don't know, <laughs> a colleague, yeah. then we need to change both feminine uh, and yes. masculine. Uh -huh. Feminine changes the same way, so U or U. Mm -hmm. Masculine will change to A or Ya. Mm -hmm. So let's read uh, these two examples here. Ya mayu uh, kota? Kota. Mm -hmm. Kota, uh, it's kit, which is cat in English. Ah, so I okay. have a cat. Ya mayu kota. Okay. Ya um, mayu sestru. Mm -hmm. Ya mayu okay. sestru. Sister, right? Think? Yes, it is absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, so this is the first structure that uh, you say ya mayu plus accusative case. For accusative yeah. case, you need to think, okay, is it animate, is it inanimate, is it feminine, is it masculine? So quite a lot of information. That is why I always recommend at first to use um, the structure like there is at me something, but which is translated also as I have. It seems a little bit harder because we have a lot of options here, but basically it's easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, так, let's take a look to the structure. Here so they have conjugations of the pronouns, personal pronouns. Somebody has. I have, you have, he has, she has, we have, you have, and they have. Yes, okay. So let's read. U menie. U menie. U mene. U mene. U and then the verb. Ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Umene, yeah. Mm -hmm. Umene, mm -hmm. yeah. I mm -hmm. have. And plus, after it, 
you use nominative case. So this is simple. You don't need to think about uh, how to change the object that you possess. Mm -hmm. So for example, if uh, you have a computer, how would you say? Um, umene e computer? Mm -hmm. da, just this one is more like yeah, yeah because it has this like yeah. yacht in it. Umene okay. ye yeah, computer. Yeah. Computer. Mm -hmm. Umene ye yeah, computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if I ask you that same thing before, I, always, I also said I have a computer, but in a different way, right? Mm -hmm. It was ya mayu computer. Ya mayu. Mm -hmm. da. Okay, what's the difference again between those two? Uh, basically, uh, they are equal. They both means to have. They are yes. equally used in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, different, you know, um, it has different roots because uh, this structure... And to have as mate, it's more close to uh, European languages, to English, to German, yes. and so on, because the structure is the same, yes. Uh, and this one, it's more like um, the same as in Russian, in uh, Finnish language, they have this structure. Like, okay, there okay. is at me. You like, yeah. don't, don't literally possess, it's like exists near you, because the verb yeah, uh, it means it's the form of the verb to be. Ah, I got so it. So okay. is near me or at yes. me yeah i got it okay yeah mm -hmm. let's uh, just finish with reading the sentences here umene e kit mm -hmm. e kit really means child like boy or girl it doesn't matter no no, no. uh kit is a cat oh it really is a cat okay yeah okay sorry. <laughs> it is a cat <laughs> an animal umene ye kit mm -hmm. umene ye sestra mm -hmm. Umene ye um, bud budinok? Budinok, tak, this is a house. Ah, yeah, okay, budinok. Mm -hmm. Umene ye kvartira. Mm -hmm. Kvartira, okay. apartment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kvartira, yeah. okay. So this form is easier for beginners. Da? You just learn these options or just umene, like when you speak about yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you add what you have. This is mm -hmm. simple. For okay, this one, for previous one, you need to think um, how to make accusative case. It's also yeah. beginner structure, but uh, it needs more practice. Mm -hmm. from you. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> wow. You already mm -hmm. learn how to know, uh, uh, know how to say, um, I like something, I have something, and yes. how to read in Ukrainian. <laughs> wow thank you so much you like made it like a, was a lot of work probably preparing <laughs> i hope that you, i didn't overwhelm you <laughs> no not at all but it was really interesting and um yeah i'm uh I'm it's really you. it's it's really fun like trying to read words and when you're like oh no i can't do this and then you're like no wait let's go step by step and mm -hmm. then after a while you get it yeah so it's yeah, nice yeah. Like uh, kids steps, that, as they say, in uh, any work, we need uh, to go with tiny steps to cover yeah, exactly. big distance. Yes, exactly. So that was really interesting. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so very much. Day. You're a great student. <laughs> one day I'll teach you German, that's for sure. Definitely. Yeah. It will be yeah. cool because I don't know anything in German. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> At all. <laughs> but there, we have a lot of English words too. So we also mm -hmm. say computer. Mm -hmm. um, we say house, which is house, um, mm -hmm. mouse, which is mouse. So mm -hmm. there is a lot of similarities. Yeah, so because, because there are a lot of common roots plus yeah. all those okay. techniques, especially words, they are often borrowed to many languages from yeah, English. Exactly. So. The new words, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah don't you um, have French words in your language too? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, both in Russian and Ukrainian. Like the word bureau, we very, very read yeah. today. Or, for example, I think, uh, no, taxi, of course, mm -hmm. taxi, palto. Um, I think there are more. I just cannot recall it once. Okay. But uh, well, there was a period. Uh, sorry? Uh, portemonnaie. Do you have portemonnaie, that uh -huh. uh, We okay. have this one as well, portemonnaie. By the way, this is the payment system that uh, I want to use uh, soon. It's called portemonnaie. <laughs> you reminded oh, okay. me. <laughs> about the business stuff that I need to finish. Oh, no. <laughs> you said there was a time when? Uh, there was a time uh, when uh, French had a huge influence uh, to Russian language mm -hmm. uh, because 
all the elites uh, of uh, society were speaking French. Mm -hmm. uh, it was considered that Russian language is not good enough to speak uh, to speak it in society, mm -hmm. in high society, and they used uh, French language. Uh, yes. It was very popular in uh, 19th century, maybe uh -huh. even 18th. Okay. That is why a huge influence. All right. Okay. Get it. French. Cool. So I guess if you already know some languages, it's uh, the, the more languages you know, the easier it is to learn. Absolutely. Language, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at first, uh, because you can compare different languages mm -hmm. uh, and also because uh, when you already have experience of how to learn one language, mm -hmm. it's more simple for you to learn the second yeah. one. Okay, always. got it. Um, there's someone asked, I don't know if, can you, what is this person? Mm -hmm. The Ukrainian Novikov is German Skyriach, Rukzak, Galstuk, Schnorchel, Diesel. Basically, yes, we have uh, those words from German, yeah. Rukzak. Oh, yeah, Rukzak, you have that? Oh, we okay. don't use in Ukrainian. This one we say Kravatka. 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 I think in many languages it's also like this. Uh, mm -hmm. Diesel. Tak. Diesel. We use mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so I think if to search, we can find many words. words yeah, in German. so interesting. Okay, great. So, wow, thank you so much for joining me today. That was really fun. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, if you want to um, follow Nika's or if you want to join Nika's language school, Verabai, you can find the link below, the YouTube channel and the Instagram. Yeah, do you post on social media every day? Uh, no, not every day. I don't have <laughs> enough energy for this. <laughs> But I'm trying at least uh, some stories I try to make every yeah. day on Instagram and on YouTube. It's basically usually two times per week. Okay, great. Yeah. And what's what, what do you like to do most from all of your um, stuff that you're doing? From my work? <laughs> Difficult question. Maybe uh, right now I'm really enjoying uh, writing a book ebook for my students oh, nice. i have published uh, the first one uh, when the war began and mm -hmm. uh, now i'm working on the next one already will be in ukrainian so this is what is the most pleasant for me right now yeah okay yeah it must be really fun writing yeah you, can, you know you can be creative and mm -hmm. yeah, your yeah. Heart and soul into writing <laughs> making illustrations for it so. yeah it's nice do you make your own illustrations uh yes i i cannot uh, draw good but i do what i can and still yeah. i enjoy it oh so nice okay well so thank you so much for joining me and um yeah i'm sure that we will see each other again in another live stream or maybe on instagram we can for sure do another partnership Definitely. So, yeah. It was right. very so pleasant enjoy. to talk to you, to teach you. And thank <laughs> you very much uh, to all of you guys who joined our live stream yes. today. It's very pleasant. Thank you to the audience. Okay. And um, I will talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye, Nika. Bye. <laughs>